Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Flanders Mathematics Olympiad 2021 problem number 4. It has two parts. A. Prove that x over x squared plus x plus 1 is greater than or equal minus 1 and less than or equal 1 third for all real numbers x. And part B, connected to part A, uh, we wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself such that f of x over x squared plus x plus 1 equals x squared over x to the fourth power plus x squared plus 1 for all real numbers x. It's a pretty standard problem. Here are my hints. First, notice that x squared plus x plus 1 is always positive. So you can take our inequality and multiply both sides by this denominator and just solve two quadratic inequalities. Uh, and for the part B, we will use the result of part A. It is easy to see a slight strengthening of part A, namely function which maps x to x over x squared plus x plus 1. Not only its range is contained in the interval minus 1, 1 third, but the range of this function is indeed the whole interval minus 1, 1 third. Notice that x squared plus 1 over x squared can be written in this way. It's x plus 1 over x quantity squared minus 2. And also let y be the variable which appears here. And try to express the right hand side in terms of y. And you will get your result. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Right. So... So first, uh, part A. First, notice, notice that x squared plus x plus 1 can be written as x squared plus x plus 1 fourth plus 3 over 4, which is x plus 1 half squared plus 3 over 4, which is definitely greater than 0 for all real numbers x. And now we will have the following equivalent inequalities. This inequality we know that we can safely multiply by this denominator and it's equivalent following Now, what we wish to show is two separate inequalities. This one, and then this one. So let's start with the first one. Minus x squared minus x minus 1 less than or equal x. Well, it is equivalent to saying that x squared plus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal 0. And this is equivalent of this condition, which obviously holds. It is true, it holds. Moreover, equality is attained. Equality is attained at x equals minus one, and only there. All right, what about the second inequality? x less than one third x squared plus one third x plus one third plus one third. We can multiply by three, we can put everything on the right hand side, and it's equivalent to saying that this is true, which in turn means that x minus one squared is greater than or equal zero, which also holds. Holds equality equality is attained only at x equals 1, which closes the proof of part A. But moreover, let's notice that uh, moreover, let's notice that function 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 which takes a real number x and maps it to uh, x over x squared plus x plus 1, which is real, 
uh, this function is continuous, obviously. So by the intermediate value property, property. So by the intermediate value property, value theorem. Well, since since minus one third is attained, and since well, since minus one is attained and one third is attained, and no and no number be below or above these numbers is attained, the range of our function, the range of this function, is actually the interval minus one one third. Right. Now let's move to part B. In the part B, let's recall that we wish to solve this functional equation. Now, what I will do is I will set y to be equal to this thing right here. So let let y be equal x over x squared plus x plus 1. And notice that it can be written as 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x, which in turn can be written as x plus 1 over x squared minus 1. Of course, for x which is not 0. We can't do it for x equals 0. And now notice that on the right hand side, the right hand side can be written in the following way. It's 1 over x squared plus 1 plus 1 over x squared. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I made a small mistake. There is, sorry, there is no square in the line above. It's, it's, sorry, uh, it's, just just that i made a mistake sorry about that uh now here we will have x plus one over x squared minus one all right and now notice the following remember that y equals that which means that 1 over y minus 1 equals x plus 1 over x. x plus 1 over x. So I can actually, instead of x plus 1 over x squared, I can put 1 over y minus 1 squared. Which can be written in the following way, it's 1 over uh, 1 over y squared minus 2 over y. And again, I can multiply and we'll have 1 minus 2 over y. Which means, of course, that works, that works for y. Uh, also remember, maybe, maybe let's put it this way. Remember that by part A, by part A, let's write it right here. By part A, we know that our number Y is any number in the interval minus one, one third. So there is no problem because problem can happen when y equals 1, 1 over 2, but 1 over 2 is not in this interval, so there is no problem. Also, the problem may be when y equals 0. So that holds, of course, for y which is not 0, but when is y equals 0? Well, y equals 0 if and only if x equals 0. So when x is not 0. So now, now we know 
now we know that f over y is y squared over 1 minus 2 times y for real numbers y greater than or equal minus 1, less than or equal 1 third, which are not 0, which are not 0. And what about f of 0? Well, f of 0 can be seen rather easily that if I, y of 0, if I plug in x to be 0, then I have 0 right here. Notice also that f of 0 is 0. So we get our final result. Notice that f of x, let's change y to x, f of x equals x squared 1 minus 2 over x, or x is between minus 1 and 1 third. And what about the rest? Because remember that our function is defined over the whole set of real numbers. What about the other values of our function? Well, there are absolutely no constraints on the other options, which means that it can be anything, anything for x in the set minus infinity minus 1, union 1 third plus infinity, because our, our functional equation does not say anything about uh, the values of our function for these arguments. And that closes our problem. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice problem, I'd say. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.